Hello everyone, Hiromi here, and this here is a tier 8 premium heavy cruiser, or you could say sister ship, Oregon City. Oregon City, let's just go to the description, is the least ship of the Orion class heavy cruisers. I mean, the name pretty much says for itself. Um, the main guns of the Baltimore class, single funnel, uh, replacing the Baltimore's two funnels. I mean, you can see right here, it's just only one funnel. If we're going to compare it to Baltimore, let's go ahead and up tier this up to tier 9. Which, I mean, still, I, I don't understand why PC, why Blitz decided to put Baltimore in tier 9 instead of tier 8. And then, well, Wichita right there. So yeah, there's two funnels on the Baltimore and one funnel on Oregon City. Now, Oregon City, we basically have an Oregon City. Uh, it's a, it's a sister ship. Um, it's... The Rochester. So the Rochester in tier 9, well, let's just say it's pretty good. It's good to buy, I would say. So if I ever get sly, um, it's good to buy. <laughs> it could be great to buy, but for me, it's good to buy because I hate American arcs. So Oregon City, um, I have not explored anything on this ship just yet. I have not seen the um, the ship skills nor the elite ship bonus, which I'm kind of expecting is going to be the same with the other... Uh, tech line cruisers, which is going to be the um, internal bulkhead upgrade, and well, I forgot the other one. <laughs> but let's just look through the stats. So I would go ahead and just try to compare between Oregon City and Baltimore. Um, let's just give me a second. Okay, I got all the other three ships. So we got Wichita, Rochester, and Baltimore. So let's just start off with the same tier so tier 8 and we have another tier 8 so oregon city and wichita let's just go ahead and compare this and so far well i got the skills right now and looking at the skills um um okay uh oh why okay um that's not the great ship skill for a um okay air defense alert 2 okay i i do it's it's just a cruiser okay um i want to look at the aas which it looks like to me it does have more aa than the wichita so hp wise more hp uh firefall resistance pretty less okay speed wise yeah all right range okay it does have more damage and it's weird that oregon city has six percent while Wichita 7%. So is this going to be a more AP focused Oregon City? It's like, is the Citadel chance on Oregon City much higher? That is the question. Uh, secondary guns. Well, I mean secondary guns. Okay, I did see the AA. Yes, the AA does increase more. And the surface detection. Well, Wichita takes the point on that one. Alright, so AA wise, great. Um, especially you have the air defense alert too. Now I'm scared of no rapid reload, but you have precise aim. That's the scariest part right there. Like, will it be more accurate to the point that you might end up missing your shells because because of the American arcs, you kind of don't want it, but you kind of want it. It's just depending on your skill base. Like if you can pinpoint it correctly, it's going to benefit you a lot. But if you are struggling with American arcs, like me, I kind of don't like that. Okay, so that's Wichita right there. Let's go ahead and move on to uh, Baltimore. Then we're going to move on to Rochester. So, alright. Definitely there's a big difference right there. I mean, Rapid Reload 2. That one I like. But, okay. So, I mean, it's going to be obvious, Baltimore, Oregon City, you got tier 9, tier 8. Uh, well, it's just going to go straight forward. Okay, the damage does help. The tur traverse speed does help. Um, AA-wise, I mean, it's understandable, tier 9 versus tier 8. Okay, you got the consume it. Alright, this is a tier 8 after all. So, that's that. And then, just for comparison, this is a sister ship, Rochester. So... Rochester has smoke. I kind of like the smoke instead of the um, precise aiming system too. I don't know why. It's just it. 
Now, yeah, you can see it's the Oregon class uh, ship. Um, HP wise, everything, so on and so forth. Yeah, I mean, at this point, it's like. Yeah, so more max reverse speed, alright. Damage wise, definitely good, but do note that Rochester has 8.2 seconds. You have 10 seconds. I just realized that. So, you got 10 seconds on the um, Oregon City versus 8.2. Uh, I want to check uh, Wichita one more time. What is your reload time? Nine seconds. Okay. Something's not right. So, Oregon City, 10 seconds, does have more damage than Wichita, does have more damage than the Rochester. And does have more damage than a Baltimore. Uh, does it have more damage than Des Moines though? That is a question. Um, so let's go Des Moines. So 673, 897. So it does have more HE damage, <laughs> which is hilarious. Uh, Buffalo wise, 859, 908. So it does have um, 859. Let's, uh, let's get back to work on some. So yes, it does have more AP damage than Buffalo, but not as much damage as Des Moines. So you kind of have a tier 10 damage guns in a tier 8 match. Um, I mean, okay, I see why with the 10 seconds though, but but precise aim though. Hmm, all right. So, okay, so Bionic, it does have the space camo for Oregon, which, all right, that's good. And the historic camouflage, which, um, uh, Bionic it is. <laughs> yeah, this is not what I want to see. Um, hold on guys. Uh, there's a little issue I just found out. All right, that's much better. Yeah, I don't know what happened to the screen like that one, but all right. So historic camouflage, Bionic is probably the best choice right there because the historic camo, you're going to get the AA range and the torpedo damage reduction, which is there. But I feel like more distortion is mm, probably needed. I'm not sure. It is something for ships that... Okay, yeah, damage control. Um, it is something for ships that are skilled in American cruisers. So, we'll go for that. So, internal bulkade upgrade. I mean, it's not much, but it will do. Because 1% does make a difference. Just probably an extra shell or two. <laughs> All right, details. What we have got the precise aim system two and air defense alert two. All right, let's go ahead with the build. Goku rations. Banana maintenance pack. Okay, cool. Turn on the auto resupply. Uh, main battery for modification three. We're going to go with that one. Propulsion, and let's do a bit of concealment at that point. Now. It is a question, should I get main battery modification 3 or 2? But knowing that Americans has um, forward reliability turrets, main battery modification 3 would do right there. And for the commanders, um, that is a great... Yeah, actually, now I thought about it. It only has precise aim, but not rapid reload. And I don't think there's any American cruisers that has um, precise aim with few ships that I probably can't remember at this time. So, okay. Do I, sh should I get William Halsey for this one? I feel like Halsey might work on this one, but either that or Oldendorf. Oldendorf sounds pretty good with this one, though. I mean, Oldendorf's good with both battleships and cruisers. I mean, it's good regardless. And I believe, if I'm correct, you could get this commander for the June um, daily events. I mean, daily events. I mean, the calendar. Like, the daily stuff. And I feel like I might use that one. So, let's, re let's go with that. Uh, with the build and sort. Uh, should I use repairs? Probably. I want to do basic first of all. And if I want to go basic, I mean, Oldendorf, everybody's going to get it. If you're going to spend your gold or your uh, free XP up to tier 12 and 
just to get the cross to T and APCS plus. By all means, go ahead. And this is a tier 8 match, so I feel like this is just a little bit unfair. So let's just go ahead and bring out something a little bit more basic, you could say. So let's go ahead and let's find the commander. Alright, so I have decided to put on Popeye for this one. And I did master up to 9, so we're just going to leave this 3 behind for tier 9 and tier 10. So this is the build for Popeye with the 9 commander skills. So Demolition Experts, Adrenaline Rush, and then more on the survivability. And then Artillery Maintenance Expert Plus, and as well as Victorious Charge Plus. And those are just that. Alright, so I believe that is what we're going to go for right here. And it does have the voice line, so we're going to listen to Popeye. So let's go ahead and bring on the battles. Alright, we're in, and um, okay, this is first impressions, but like, I got four bots. This is not what I want, though. But we'll see how this goes. We're on the silent shore, so this is like a tier 7 map right there. And I did see the enemy team. Alright, so this is a tier 7 match, right? Tier 7, 8? Yep, alright, perfect. Okay, they have shield, they got Belfast, they got Benson, alright. So, this is, this is pretty much a bot majority battle. So, let's figure out what we're gonna do. So Hai Yang, uh, Sign Yang is on this side so I have a feeling there will be ships going from this side and then there will be some on the right. I feel like there's probably gonna be a destroyer popping out right here uh, in about 10 so seconds here. Alright so Enemy let's figure spotted. out. Gets ready to okay so that is a bot Ikizuki right there. We're not gonna focus on that for the time being. And that is probably another bot shores right there. Okay, there's Belfast right here. Alright, so there's two ships right on that side. Let's go ahead. Get that Belfast. Got some few hits on that one. Let's go ahead. Focus on this uh, Benson out here. Okay, two pens. Okay, sorry with the lag. Precise aim, there we go. Get this Benson out of the way as best as I could. I'm gonna go behind this rock so that Benson won't even have a chance to target on me. Good shots on that. And Benson should be out with this last set of salvo if I could. He's going to go traverse over on this side, so once that pops the smoke... Okay, miss. Okay, there's the Benson. Okay, he's staying right there. Alright, there we go. We got it. Okay, Benson is down, so that's one player down. And then we got this bot, Akizuki, right here. Let's try to test the rounds. Okay. It's actually pretty accurate, to be honest. Now, this is a bot after all, and there's the whole majority of the team right on that side. So I want to get out of here and actually focus on defending our flag. There's definitely four cruisers. How am I going to do this? So, alright. 10.5, which is nice. Okay, there is Shell right there. Okay, Shores is down. We need to get this out of the way. Uh, Schoenberg. Why say show? That's Schoenberg. Uh, Sh Belfast is right there. Okay. Let's go ahead, get that taken care of. Okay, two hits. Uh, they're definitely half pens for sure. Get that out of the way. Okay, so there is Belfast right there. That's about Miyoko. Let's go ahead and activate Precise Aim on this one. See if I can get more hits on this. Okay, Belfast is slowing down. Ooh, nice hits. Nice hits on that Belfast. Right, he is slowing down. I have a feeling he's probably going to stay right there. 
chills on that side. This is going to be a little bit of an issue. I know Belfast do not have torpedoes, which is perfect. I'm just going to focus on that Belfast if he's standing still. Okay, he's not standing still, so he's on the move. Let's go ahead and get this Miyoka out of the way. I am definitely... My team is not going to survive through this one for sure. So let's just go ahead and try and get this out of the way. Yeah, okay. Ooh, okay. So, yes, Citadel Chance does look like it is increased. Because that's not... That's not original for a... Other class that way. Okay, Shill's using Rapid Reload. I am pretty much... Yes. Let's just see if I can get more Citadels like this. Way. No, I am just not getting any shots out of that. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, secondary's down. Yeah, I mean, at this point, I'm fine. I'm, I'm already due. And can I get the last shots? Alright. There we go. That's that. <laughs> 64k. Nah. Would I say that's average? Probably a little bit average, you could say, on that one. Uh, three Citadels. I'm surprised. Uh, two Citadels on that Miyoko. That is either by luck or the high Citadel chance. Because the fire chance is low, but the Citadel chance is high. So I feel like there is an increased Citadel chance on that ship. Well, anyways, first battles, first loss. So let's go ahead and move on to the next battle. And hopefully we get more players instead of bots this time. Alright, we got a game with no bots this time. <laughs> Alright, so we got this. So Bay of Storms, three destroyers on our side. Okay, this is literally like either we push or defend. I'm strong to the finish because I eat me spinach. <laughs> we hearties. We need to stand together and defend this base. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you did not make Popeye finish with the k k k k Okay. Um, two destroyers. We got two shells. Okay, two shells. That's going to be a bit of issue right there. Um, Takal, Pagero. Um, alright, I'm gonna focus on the left side, and we're gonna try to focus on whatever ship's gonna be spotted, and also within our range here. The Kagero's probably gonna spot for us. Uh, I'll be right aside with Takao, so I can actually get some free-flowing damage. Alright, there we go, we got Kagero. It's gonna turn right there. Fire that up. And it missed, for sure. Kagera already turned, so the torpedoes are pretty much on its way. I'm slowing down, so she'll probably gonna miss some shots. Well, miss, I mean, like, probably got half of it. Okay, rapid reloads engage on that shell, so I want to go ahead and narrow this up as best as I could. Nice shot, pal. There we go. Yep. At least it's just my rear, so it's not going to deal as much significant for that shell. And that Kansas decided to play on me. <laughs> Alright, definitely had to fall back for this sake. There is just, I'm just getting outnumbered here, 3 to 1. Nice shot, pretty much no assistance as well. Right. I want so I want this North car push if possible. This right, show got me right there. Okay, I need to just get up, just get into this area at this point. If I'm just, I'm just gonna be like a punching bag at this point. Come on, concealment. And there we go. All right, enemy Kagero's right there. Uh, definitely will not hit that. Norcar is gonna push forward, so let's just go keep my distance from this. Try to shoot that Norcar if possible. Nice okay, that's a lot of half pens. I mean, I am expecting to get half pens on that Norcar. So, one more time. 
And then I'm probably gonna go ahead and switch to uh, HE on this point. Those torpedoes are not gonna hit me with that nice traverse. There we go. Alright, <laughs> Now, let's try to get this fire right off the bat. Get that repair. Good shots, good torpedoes. And our coccyx is down. Alright, uh, let's see if I can get some fires on that north car. Nope. Okay, shells out there. Yep, there we go. Oh, he destroyed my troopers. Ah, that'll be fine because I do need a turn. After all. Alright, let it turn and just get that damage combat out of the way. I do not want to use precise aim because I feel like this is just good enough for this range. And I don't know what is T <laughs> what is those two are doing down at the bottom right. I have no clue. Okay, I am broadside on this one. This is yep, that hurts. Uh, okay, I did get misses on that one. Can I lob this over? Yes, I can. I can lob that over. Will I hit, though? No. <laughs> get this, Vittorio. Uh, could I try to get up close and hit chill from this? Maybe I could try to go from this this is probably not a good map for Oregon City, but I believe this is probably the only thing that's Hit that repair. There we go. Right, now that shield's probably on me. Yep, that, that is for sure. Alright, he is gonna push on in. I'm gonna go ahead and start kiting. And let the cow try to drop torpedoes on that shield if possible. Or not, Kagero took care of it. Perfect, that was a nice warp on that. Now, I have no clue where the other teams are at. It, I feel like they're still on the other side or probably right on the right side. But so far, I have no clue. This is a little bit scary right at this point. Um, 37k is the damage I'm dealing. Yeah, okay, Kansas is there. Uh, Norcar kind of just right onto it. Kansas won at that point. So it's just left to this Kagero to actually do some damage. Alright, I am now detected, which means Kagero is at my side. Probably on the defensive point. There we go. Yep, alright, yeah, oh, okay. I am screwed because this is a bad position I just did. Woo! Okay. No, I'm survived. I am survived. You strike him through the armor. Okay, yeah. Let's go ahead and precise thing this up because chances of me going down is very nice high. Shot, yeah, there we go. That Belfast nice is shot, somewhere. And oh, okay, that was a close call. Let's get this. Hopefully, get that extinguisher for slightly more HP. And I'm down. All right. Well, that was unfortunate. That map is probably not the best for Oregon City. Plus, I got hammered with Kansas Salvo. So, yeah, that's not great. Um, six nine eight two eight ten. All right. So, two losses. And I got an actual match. Um, I don't. I feel like it might be my team's fault, but that is just my opinion. I don't. I don't feel like it because they they are doing their best. I would say they are doing their best. The Kansas definitely hit me hard, regardless. And he farmed the North Car like it's nothing. So Oregon City. Um, I don't know what to say. I mean, the precise aim too kind of helped, but I feel like it's not right. The Citadel chance does feel like it's a little bit higher. Yeah, Kagero definitely did the job on that one. At this point, it's like, you gotta get two shells, a Kansas, Belfast 43, yeah. Oregon City does need a little bit more um, 
work on it. I feel like I might need a buff on something. I don't know what buff it needs. Um, yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and actually change the commander and get the premium hills and let's get into the next battle. Alright. I changed the commander from Popeye to Odendorf and I get the premium hills and premium hills. Premium heals. <laughs> premium heals and advanced damage control. So now let's go for this battle, shall we? Alright, third and possibly the final battle right here. We got one bot. That's fine. Rest of them are players, which is perfect. And this is a heavy destroyer game. Four destroyers on their side in three on ours. So Golden Channel, um, I do feel like I might have to play defense on this point because four destroyers, yeah. You got Lo Yang, Kagero, Benson, Mahan. Yes, okay. Bot Harbin, okay, that's good. At least it's not player Harbin. <laughs> um, Lolana, it's gonna be fires everywhere. All right, so definitely wanna play Negative. defensive and I might use Oregon City. Seas. As advantage by having just time. only my front bow exposed. And then whenever the destroyer on the right decides to go, we're gonna start uh, pushing left. Alright, three caps, so three destroyers is contested. So let's try to get in this area as best as I could. Uh, Yo Lang does have regular torpedoes instead of deep water, so that's gonna be a bit of need to know. Right, there we go. Definitely, that is yeah, that's a lot of torpedoes right there. Woo. Okay, so two destroyers are on the left, two destroyers are at the center. So that looks like that's how it's gonna go. Um, okay, Bot Harbin, that's fine. I don't have to worry about it. I definitely want to focus on the left side because if they start pushing, they're going to create a good pincer maneuver on us. So I want to get this Mahan out Precisely ASAP. Okay, I'm definitely going to miss some rounds on this point. Uh, can I do one more salvo right there? And then let's focus on the two destroyers right on front. Okay, good. We got that taken care of. Let's get this Kagero. Uh, definitely do not have the... Um... Okay, thank you, Bot. Bot is actually detecting the Kagero, and now it's gone. Three full penetrations, which I like. I am just gonna keep my bow on right here so that they have a difficult time pushing us. And now Benson is going on the left side which allows me to bring my third turret in. I should take care. Uh, Gero, there we go. Can I aim a little bit down so I can focus on that belt for that nice full penetration. Alright. That Benson is turning. Let's go ahead. Right there. That's what I like to see. They are definitely pushing. A little bit. I uh, want to get that low Yang right there. And start... Woo! That lightning did good. Start pushing to this rock because Kagera probably just launched torps on me. Alright. So we got three ships left. They're all on the left side. So let's just go ahead move to the other side of this rock and start uh, bow tanking as well. Lightning is doing his best to stay in the cap, take down the destroyers, which I do like. He's a very good team player. A very good team player. <laughs> and I want to go ahead, uh, focus on this slow gang here. He is backing up and this is a good opportunity for those shots right on that. Woo! Eight shots on that. Oh, I love that. Start turning. Oh! Torp beats. Let's go. Alright. Alright. 
Uh, where's the salvo from Mo Yang? You're not going away from that. Ouch. <laughs> uh, I, I did not expect the Yolo Gang to uh, die like that one because I saw the over penetrations at first and then after that. Okay. Whew. Okay, so we definitely secured the cat this time. Uh, Hello, Kagero. Um, how's your day going? Good. Um, do you want to recreate World War II? Okay, yeah, sure. I mean, we got Shell on the other side, which is a different story. But, uh, um, so, would you like, uh, your extended warranty, sir? Because I think you're, um, kinda, um, yeah, kinda need some, uh, reparation. Okay, you are, okay, you are getting lucky now at this point. There we go. Okay. <laughs> All right. There we go. Um, now I think the destroyers will take care of that Massachusetts. Uh, yeah. At that point, let's just fire the rounds. I think those front two will take care. And yeah. Okay. Yeah. Destroyers will take care of this one because Massachusetts kind of screwed at this point. If not, I'll just try sis as best as I could. Good job. Hey, a fire. Perfect. That's what I like. And another fire, hopefully, or just take it down. There we go. All right, that's that. Okay, definitely a uh, destroyer heavy game. Uh, Oregon City pretty much kind of do its job, although with the APCS, yeah, I see a lot of over penetrations. But okay, the dispersion, I'm actually surprised. It's pretty good. The penetration is not like um. Admiral Hipper like because I feel like Admiral Hipper does have the um the precise aim so let's just compare with that one so Admiral Hipper well it has precise aim one for sure um what about Prince Jugen yeah so it's like a little bit more German so if you play Oregon City like a German with like less penetration, I could see it work. But also it just feels not right for an American cruiser with precise aim because most of the time you will have rapid reload on we got San Diego with rapid reload. We got um the forgettable ship uh with precise aim, but still it's forgettable because the arcs uh, Cleveland, well, doesn't have rapid reload, but still, you got the reload time quite fast. And a Richita with um, rapid reload. I mean, we're talking about uh, heavy cruisers. We got heavy cruisers with rapid reload. I mean, we're not ignoring the uh, Congress, but San Diego has rapid reload. Um, Baltimore has rapid reload. It's just weird to have Oregon City with precise aim, but. I see why the precise aim is needed. It does help uh, targeting those destroyers, which is beneficial with Oregon City. And your shell velocity, it's... Well, I would say the shell velocity is pretty alright. I mean, it's the same as Rochester, so it's probably a little bit slower than Baltimore, but it feels like it's just right. The penetration is... Probably perfect enough where at least seven to eight kilometers you can pan destroyers, and then once it gets closer, you want to focus on the belt. But so far, Oregon City, well, it's it's just a cruiser. Like I don't see sort of any engagement on this ship. It's more like a good ship if you want to target those destroyers or any ships are going broadside definitely good with bow tanking for sure like if you're bow tanking and uh, you need that precise aim when that enemy ship is bow tanking as well it's perfect in other certain situations like that bay of storm battle yeah i don't think oregon city has any good advantage on that one so definitely a bow tanking ship i would say um that scenario with that golden channel works good so it's more a situational ship uh wichita is probably a little bit better just because you got rapid reload but if you want to make sure your shots are just consistent oregon city is that and i do have a feeling this is probably going to go out in blitz pass so 
once that ship is out on Blitz Pass, um, hopefully you get the Bionic Camel because it it's the, just more dispersion is necessary. I said necessary because it depends on you guys if you think accuracy is needed or you want more firepower. But if you're looking for more firepower, just go with Richita. It's free. You don't need to spend any dime on the uh, Blitz Pass unless they give you like a 50% off discount. But regardless, if this is on a Blitz Pass, I might just go pass. But if you want something a little bit more, try to get those consistent shots and you're in a certain map that works with this Oregon City, then this is probably the shit for you. Um, respawn, probably not the great choice. Uh, Grand Battles, who plays Grand Battles? But regardless, um, it's all right, ship. A little bit boring for me. Um, definitely will be a pass for me. But anyways, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. And I'll be looking forward to seeing you guys next time. Until then, Jane.